Hey YouTube, it's AST Razor64 back again with another unboxing here. Uh, this is airsoft related. I've been meaning to get some of my airsoft videos out there. And this is my first unboxing of the year, 2016. Uh, as you can tell from the title, it's the FN57 from Tokyo Marui. So, uh, I did order it from airspat.com. Uh, one thing about airspat guys, they keep advertising that all sales final, you know, uh, everything must go, blah blah blah. I don't know if they're closing, I haven't researched it or whatnot, I don't really care. Um, I have issues with Airsoft, Airspatiment. Um, if you watch my other two unboxings for my Tokimuri uh, Glock 17 or my Tokimuri Glock 18C, you will notice there was packaged horribly. Um, this one seems to be packaged pretty snug, we'll see when we open it up. Um, the guns still work and they do work flawlessly to this day, but they were packaged horribly. Uh, and also, uh, my unboxing for the Scorpion Evo with the ASG uh, Scorpion Evo 381. Uh, it arrived broken from air split. Uh, you could tell if you watch the unboxing, there's all these spare parts. It, it was just mangled, it was terrible. So, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get on with this unboxing. Uh, I know bad mouth the air split. Like I said, obviously, I have to order from them again. So, this is the FN57 from Tokyo Marui. And I already did have an FN57, uh, the newer version of the Marushin. This is uh, the second version they put out. Uh, to support the un improved hop up or whatnot, um, licensed by Cybergun does all the proper licensing or whatnot. But unfortunately for me, my hop up is broken, so the gun basically does not work. It does fire. It does has it's very CO2 efficient. It's CO2 blowback. So uh, we'll get into that, and I probably will be doing a giveaway on this gun. I'll make a separate video about that without the light, of course. Um, so we do a few comparisons too. So let's go ahead and get on with the unboxing. Uh, Tokyo Marie version of the FM57. So, we will, today we'd be doing an unboxing with the Survivor. So, let's get on with it. Pretty nice here, boys. Wanted this pistol. It wasn't available here at the time when I bought the Marushin version. And this was one of the uh, Gen 1. It was one of the first edition, uh, models of the CO2 blowback. So maybe they made more improvements now. I'm not sure. Any, anybody else I've talked to about this gun and didn't have issues with their hop up? I did from the from the start. So now I did find one here in the U.S. where I was able to order the to Marie version. So anyway, I'm just going to oh, oh, and set my personal information to the side. And this is what you can see, guys. The, well, not necessarily, but so we'll get on with it. I did order a uh, uh, Marie 57, the stainless outer barrel. Uh, I. Thinking I'm not going to need this, like my Glock came with a plastic outer barrel, I believe the Marui has its metal outer barrel already. So we'll go ahead and find that out right now. The Marushin does, the Marushin does have the metal outer barrel, so we'll see. Um, I've always wanted this pistol, so I'll be saying this to the side. This is what you can see guys, a Marui gas blowback, it's not turned inside out the way my Glock boxes were, I guess for shipping purposes they had to do that because of the uh, licensing rights or whatnot. The trademarks they did scratch out the fn obviously uh fn57 auto loading pistol marui number 33 blah 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 marui uh gas blowback product marui what you can see on this side uh see on this side black model as opposed to the to the od green or the 10 the desert 10 and here's this side uh marui 57 airsoft gun nothing on the bottom as so no no who cares about that so Let's go ahead and get on with it. All right. So I'll be the top. This is what you're gonna see when you open it up. Uh, nothing new on the market. Like I said, the newer model would be the Cyber Gun version, uh, OEM by Marushin. So, anywho, let's uh, you know your basic Marui instruction manual. I mean, you got your everything in Japanese. Is your unjamming rod in there? I will be setting this aside because there's no really any need to get into, into de detail with that. So, nice, beautiful, uh, auto-loading pistol, Tokyo Marui, high kick, high grouping, gas blowback. One thing about the Marui's is um, definitely their hop-ups are flawless as well as their the, the kick, but they are plastic. But so is the Marushin. Now, they're both made in Japan. Um, so the Japanese regulations or whatnot. Uh, so, what you're going to see, um, your magazine, um, I don't know what the proper name for these are, but so you put those in your magazine, you can dry fire a gun without holding the slide release. And make sure it's cycling properly or whatnot. So, uh, there's how to install it on, on the mag. 
And let's go ahead and set this to the side because I don't, don't even use those. Uh, basic bag of BBs, Marui BBs. You may want to use them, may not. I'm not going to use them, but I mean, this should be fun than Marui. So, anyway, let's go with the guy. Hop up. Uh, one one thing I noticed right off the bat between the two is the this the size. For some reason, the Marui looks a little bigger. I don't know. And that's what she said. Huh? Or whatnot. But um, the trades. As opposed to the Sabergan, did get real licensing, I guess not. FC, the Marushan version, F and Herstel, and the, I mean, the Mar and the Marui version just has, like, some, some numbers there. Maybe this is more authentic to the real thing. I'm not quite sure. Um, Feeling-wise, they're both plastic, but the Marui is, uh, it does have, like, a more durable feel to it. Definitely the, the, the pistol grip does. And, um, of course, all the weight from the Marushan came and the Marui. These things are solid. They're super heavy. But I don't know if the, the Marui feels way more durable. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take the mag on out. Magazine size, they're both going to be the same. I said this is CO2 blowback, and this is, of course, gas from Marui. You know, very CO2 efficient, guys. I'm not, not talking bad about the Marui versions. I had a bad gun from the get, like I said, the hop up uh, issues with the hop up. So, um, Enough, enough, you know, enough with the with that. So, um, more comparisons here. Uh, made in Japan, they're both made in Japan, but this is Tokyo Marine. This is the other uh, caliber. They both have the proper, proper trays with the caliber, whatnot. Um, obviously, you can notice the iron sides are different. I'm sure the Marus are more authentic than the than these, as you can tell. Iron sides are different, as well as the front iron sides. Uh, the the Marushin are a little taller. Here's aim it down sights there. So on the bow, this is the cyber gun. That's the Marui. So like I said, the Marui just has a better feel to it. I've always wanted the Marui. So um, let me see. Oh, uh, uh, slide uh, breakdown. They're both same. You're gonna pull that back. Slide comes off. Hop up adjustable. Whatnot. That is your mag. Uh, your slide release. This is your safety. This uh, double sided is ambidextrous safety. Nice and nice good feel to the safety. As opposed to the Marushin, is very, very loose safety. I mean, like it almost comes loose by itself, so it feels. But they both break down the same. Uh, slide release is the same on both. Um, under rail, Marui just feels better. I mean, it feels more. The plastic is a better quality, I guess. I'm going to take that off. You know, they're both. I don't know. It just, just, it just feels better. I mean, I've always wanted it, so. Um, Like I said, I didn't need the the outer the, the spare outer barrel metal that I bought, so oh, well, I might be returning it. Probably just ended up keeping it. Um, definitely a better feel to it. More comparison, they both had the the trades on the pistol grip. There's the Marui. Here's the other. Uh, both sides. Um, so I guess that's it. The FPS is going to be a a little slower than the CO2 blowback. Um, and the kick could probably be the same. CO2 blowback, the CO2 blowbacks usually have a harder kick than, than the gas, but the Maruis always have a hard kick. They're known for that, so they might be about the same on that, kick-wise. So not much to it, guys. Um, like I said, we'll be doing a giveaway on the on the Marushin. Uh, we'll make a separate video on that, and I'm gonna slap the Surefire H300 replica on the new Marui. So. Nice, good, beautiful feel to it. So, you know, um, FPS wise, like I said, it's gonna be a little weaker than the than the Marushin version. But it, uh, you know, the the, the five seven was made to go with the with the P ninety. They both take the same caliber round, which is the five seven uh, round. So, you know, it does go. You gonna want to be running with the P ninety? Would we want to be running also with the FN five seven? So. Like I said, guys, um, not much to be on the lookout for some more video game collectible unboxings in the future as well as more airsoft. Uh, so until next time, it's ASC Razor 64, and we are signing off.